Welcome to the new CFA website. We're just going to run through some of the changes to the website and highlight some of the great new functionality that's been included with the redesign. So when you first load the CFA website, if there are current warnings, a warnings feed will automatically expand that shows you the latest warnings, a feed from the CFA Updates Twitter account and important links over here. You can click on this link to directly access all current warnings and incidents. And once you've read this information, you can close it up here. If there are no current warnings, this window won't automatically expand. The website's homepage has been redesigned in a clean, clear way that allows important information to be easily highlighted. A link directly to incidents and warnings information is available here, along with other community information. Today's total fire bans and fire danger ratings will be clearly available from the homepage here, and latest news will be displayed over here. Important contact information can be viewed directly from the homepage over here. Links to CFA's social media channels are found down in the footer of the website, and over at the top is access to the About Us and contact pages, as well as Brigades Online. The navigation of the website has changed and is now displayed in five primary menu options – Warnings and Restrictions, Plan and Prepare, Volunteer and Careers, News and Media, and Kids and Schools. When you select one of these, a simple landing page will load that uses left-hand navigation menus to allow you to explore within each section. The design of these landing pages is consistent across the website. Throughout the website, a search box is displayed on the top right corner. That's a Google search box that provides an easy, intuitive search function on the website that matches search results as you type. So if I pop in home, bushfire, advice, there we can see what's found the match. If you need to print or share information, you can do so from here. One of the changes of the new website is the integration of CFA's news that formerly sat on a separate website called CFA Connect. You can get to the news section by the news and media tab up here or via the direct URL news.cfa.vic.gov.au. So this is the new CFA website. Feel free to leave your feedback via the feedback tab over here and we welcome your thoughts.